Hello guys, and today we're going to be doing a showcase of the Mechel Fusion Tree and the... How do you pronounce this? The Elho Twin 600 Flex. Yes, I believe that's what it's called. So, we're going to buy them. We're, we're first going to give a look at the shop. Uh, mods, Windrowers. The Elho Twin 600. It says flexi on it because I've tried this already. So, we're going to buy one of them. Uh, so it costs 6,300 to buy, which is a bit cheap. I would say more like 8,000 be more realistic. Uh, 6 euros a day to maintain. That's okay. 150 horsepower to drive. Ooh, I don't think so. Let me just adjust my mic so it works properly, probably. No way. 6 meters wide. Okay, we own 4. Um, a wind roar. Sorry, a wind roar. Arrange grass, hay, straw in a row, wind row, which can then be scooped up by fire wagons or bidders. And we have the Mikaya Fusion Tree, which we only have two of. We're going to buy another one for the shop. So it costs 7,000 to buy. Looks like that. Uh, 45 euros a day to maintain. Very good. Sounds respectable. 107 horsepower to drive. No. I know people with Mikhail Fusions, maybe not Mikhail Fusion Trees, um, 150 would be more like it, I would think, for horsepower is kind of what they use, so you might get away with 130, maybe maybe 120, but okay, makes 4,000 unit bail, very good, standard in game bail, everything able to use it, uh, grass and straw, bales, hay, straw and sausage, and you can wrap them, to provide a crop that keeps weatherproof and by sen sem in modding sem, sem in modding so let's give a look at these in person so we've got the wheel chucks under the McHale um, texturing looks good uh, can't really walk into it anywhere nope can't walk into it very good good detailing all around I would say uh, is there any extra features? Uh, no. So, looks good. Nothing looks out of place. We got some warning labels and everything. Got a pressure gauge even for the bail pressure and a clock for doing something else. Which goes into the tractor, I believe. And then we've got the... the what's it called again? The El... Elho... V-Twin 6... So it's got an urna. So it's a, a V-Twin, not a, a twin. So anyway... Uh, Great detailing. Very, very good detailing altogether. Uh, can I actually not get. No. Oh, I can't get any closer. I want to see if there's actually holes for the pins or they just put through it, which is more than likely. But that would be fine, just wondering. Uh, so, great detailing. Great texturing. Uh, oh, I can climb up them. So, good hitbox. I can walk under them. Very good hitbox uh, uh, modeling on them, so very good. Uh, right tires to be used, I presume, but 150 horsepower. So this, I reckon that this should run on at most 50 horsepower. Mm, you probably get away at 25 horsepower, definitely. I would be more than inclined to think that because this thing is six meters wide. So if I go in here, and this is 8.2, and I require 70. So you know you're thinking about the 50 horsepower range, I think. I would think. So 50 horsepower, I would think, would be plenty for six meters. So let's try and unfold it and stuff. Try turning it on. Insufficient power. Okay, so it won't run on 90 horsepower even. So that's a failure, I believe. So, uh, I'm sorry about that, um, way overpowered, so actually uh, just out of interest, I'm going to drop this here, and I'm going to reverse, will this actually turn on insufficient horsepower, fair enough, and he changed the message, message and all for the fusion trade, so that's fine, so they won't run on 90 horsepower, that's fair enough, even though you only require 107. 
not a massive difference. So you're going to need a decent amount of power, more than likely. So, we're going to tab over to, not you, not you, you. So I have mowed a bit of grass, all ready to be um, collected. And we'll see what the features are like. So, we've got lower rays, unfold, standard, not expecting anything special of it really. So we'll turn it on and we'll flip back to the fusion. So, we've got open side panel in. So, open side panels. Lovely, so they flick out. There is no triggers there, I actually have checked because I made a mess with the first time. And it closed again, and the last place is attached to the thing there. Is and is slightly covered by the red triangle, but whatever. Maybe not from if we are looking at the right angle. Uh, Q to detach, change to selection, lower pickup, so we can lower the pickup. Very good. And unfold. What does unfold do? Just the front wheels. Fair enough. And we can turn it on. So, 150 horsepower is required of the thing on front. Whether the, the 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 V floor or whatever it is, the twin, the V twin 600. It does require 150 horsepower. I, I can feel it. It's just obvious that it needs that much power. Um, the McHill, I s I've tried it before, it also requires more horsepower than it claims. Uh, you could probably run it with 107 horsepower, but you would have fun if you met any sort of incline. I have no four wheel drive or anything on, so I'm going to quickly put that on. I actually made up there before I thought without any extra, extra power required, but okay. So let's go up here. Uh, yeah, you you will need four wheel drive. Four wheel drive will help a lot uh, on a big track. So this is a, what this is three hundred and twenty horsepower to drive all this up a fairly steep hill. Nothing ridiculous. Now the advertised width. Uh, I'm going to disable the bailer, or I'm going to activate the wrapper. Sorry, this uh, moment. The working width of the twin six hundred. It claims to be, um, what does it claim to be? It claims to be 6 meters. Whereas I know, the more I use to mow this, the, the try more setup for a tractor is 8.9 meters. I believe, something along those lines in it. And this is collecting all of it, so it's actually more than 6 meters wide. Because if it was 6 meters wide, we would only have, what, 2 meter rows? Yeah, that's not right. So, we get a wrap bale like so. And I'm going to wait till we're on maybe a small bit flatter ground to drop it. To demonstrate something. So I only want two bales also. So dis uh, dis uh, disable the wrapper. Uh, that's fairly flat ground I would say. I'd say you get away with dropping the bale like so. So it's a drop bale you hit O. And it drops down like that. And falls out, but it rolls. There's the bales, the way it drops the bales, it just rolls very easily altogether. So, we can't say it's great on that measure. If I quickly turn off the twin 600 here, the maximum working speed of the Mikhail Fusion is once we get kind of is 15 kilometers per hour give or take so you cannot go any faster than 15 kilometers an hour no matter what you do so if I turn on the twin 600 and turn off the McHale we've got a maximum working speed of 17 kilometers per hour neither of which is very fast and I'm actually just going to try and drop the bail I can drop the bail without being having the tool selected and once again you can see we're on relatively flat ground I'll even stop it. It's still rolling. So, bales roll very easily, that's my point. I'm now going to turn off the everything. I'm going to fold it up. And I'm going to fold that up. That, will that work? No, it won't. Lift that up. So, they require a bit of power. 
Oh, easy. So the next thing I want to test, they can just hang out there. Oops. Sorry, restart it. So the next thing I want to test is not that. This. I want to test. Um, how well does it fare with a wagon that I'm actually using at the moment quite a bit. Um, power wise. So we're going to uh, drop it down. And we're going to turn on the burglar. We're going to drop that down. We're going to get all the speed we can. We're going to turn on everything. And we're going to turn that on as well. Also, if you're going to be taking corners with this, you're not going to get the full row. It just doesn't work like that. Not even reality. So this is only realistically good for straight lines. So you're going to have to redo your corners all the time. So you're going to have to do maybe two headlands and then try and go up and down as much as possible. Um, it does sap a lot of power, as you can see. Uh, no matter what you're doing. Um, I When I was mowing this, I never went below 11 kilometers per hour even coming up those hills so it's far more power hungry than the moors almost twice as much I would say because we have the speed now it's working and it's putting in a nice room and everything but it just requires so much power and you could do a course play with a bigger wind roar for that would just make it a lot more a lot better I would think personally so I'm going to now just swing around also so it does affect the working speed of the wagon also you can only do 17 kilometers an hour when the rake is on you can call it a rake now or whatever it is you know what I mean um, whereas the wagon has a maximum working speed of 24 kilometers per hour so you're kind of slowing down the whole press process but you don't have to go and win row it in the first place, either manually or set a course player worker. So you're saving money or you're saving time at the very minimum. Because if you have to go set a worker up, you're going to have to get the worker. You're going to have to drive his tractor there. You're going to have to create the course, which may take three minutes to create the course at the very worst. And it might take five minutes to get to the field at the very worst. Kind of that general idea. But if you do it this way, you're going to have this big thing on the front of your tractor. How will that maneuver? Well, we're going to find out. So I'm going to fold it all up. And I'm going to turn off that and raise it up. So, it's another thing that you can add to the front of your tractor. It's going to be more awkward to maneuver in tight areas such as your farmyard. So, uh, how will it fare in tight farmyards such as Chillington? Chillington has a relatively tight farmyard, which is not ridiculous. So, we're going to take it on. We're out now traveling at 70 km an hour and it's not kind of wiggling around the place stupidly somehow. So it's not a bad mob or anything, but it just needs way too much power. I'm trying to get this done as quickly as possible, sorry if it drags on. If you really want to see the conclusion of this, skip the last two minutes of the video and I'll be like, yeah, this is like this and this is like that. So, first real test, we're coming in here. We need to make the turn, so we need to go wide. No real problems. Didn't expect any. So, we come into the yard. Like so, and nice big gate, so no problems. But, now I'm going to go down here. And my tipping point is in, in that square of bales in there, right? And the way that I always do it, is I drive around here with this exact wagon, and the smaller version of this tractor, actually. But, same difference is I come in here and I back back and I try and steer it in there now that was a bad line to be fair so worst case scenario I'm gonna go like this and I'm gonna be straightening up and that was still a very bad one so it's still quite doable so I think that's a fair test of it um, I do actually think this tractor handles better somehow than this one one but okay so it doesn't add much to the front of the tractor. We got 1,300, Well, So, another thing I want to test is its height. It's actually very tall. And that's scary if you have, for instance, low line bridges like there is in Chillington. Um, so, I actually had quite a scare <laughs> uh, the first time I pulled this out. 
uh, to take it up to field 5. I bought it at the shop, threw it on the JCB, drove it up there. And no oh my. I was coming into the ridge at 70 km an hour and I was like, oh damn, how tall is this thing? As I was like, oh here we go. I'm gonna get wedged or stuck or something and I'm gonna have to reset a million things and set everything all up again. But it didn't happen there. But I think this bridge is a bit lower, so we're gonna come in here and we're gonna slow way down. So ooh, it's not gonna fit this. No. Oh it is. So it just barely fits underneath this bridge. So that's a good thing. So if you have low lying buildings on your map or overpasses or something, be aware that it's gonna be a tight squeeze. It really is. So this bird one actually barely fits under as well. So Yeah, so this burg is a very good indication of what where you can take it. So if you can take this burg in there height wise uh, maybe not lengthwise, of course. You'll probably get that in as well. 99% chance you will. So they're roughly the same height. Very good. Now, do, 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 no, 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 we're going wrong way, but okay. This one. This one. Okay. So now, I want to test how well the McHale Fusion travels at speed. So, we've got our JCP here, capable of doing 70k an hour again. Oops. And I'm going all over the place, but okay. So we'll take the the, 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 the diffusion up to 70 kilometers an hour, and we'll see how it handles if this wobbly or anything, because sometimes the mod can get wobbly at high speeds. 70 kilometers an hour, and no problems, very stable. A bit drifty, tiniest bit drifty, but that's to be expected to be honest the tractor was slipping more than the baler so unless you've got an F1 car that's stuck to the ground it's not gonna be sliding all over the place going around corners at low speed or anything so has good road and then capabilities very good so I'm gonna set everything up first you need to unfold it okay that was not the brake that was the accelerator that was my bad I'll stay at the accelerator instead of break. So I'm gonna unfold it and I'm gonna drop it down. Oop. I'm gonna drop it down, turn it on, switch over to this, unfold, drop it down, turn it on. So this was harvested with the small New Holland harvester in game one with its regular header of I'm actually not quite sure. Now it can't why collect the two rows? I mean, I'm trying here very hard to get both of them. It's not really working. So, it's not really suited to collecting from behind the harvester like that. So, be aware of that. If you have the New Holland and expect to get two rows, you're not. The... The, 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 um, the first rake actually does work, so there is that as well. Pardon me for just one moment. Sorry about that. Um, so, as I was saying, the, this won't pick up um, two rows off of the, 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 the second harvester in game, so be aware of that. So you will need the um, sandpound rows in lieu if you want to collect two rows, which is the only reason it's really worth your time for straw. So. It doesn't throw two bales together, together when you bale two bales. Um, it doesn't try to wrap the straw, and the straw is textured correctly. Uh, I can actually not tip it out for some reason. So the bale ha or had to be selected that time. And immediately throws it out, but even when I throw it out there on flat ground, it's kind of very unstable. Somehow. Somehow. It managed to make it unstable somehow. So let me actually just throw it out on the move. So it kind of jumped out. <laughs> but it was stable all the same. That time. So that's kind of it. Um, now, oops, for my review. I would have to give the McHale Fusion 3 by Sa San Sam in modding um, a what 8.5 out of 10 great modeled great textured 
Great textures, uh, great detailing, works great except for the bales not being very stable when they come out. And it, the only other thing is it doesn't have any extra features, but that's not a complaint, it's just uh, a note more than anything. So I would recommend this bale, or bale, bale, this baler to people who want a Mikhail Fusion 3. Uh, there might be other ones out there, but this is possibly one of the best out there, I'd say, at the minute, in the line of McHale's. I still reckon that the BM modding Crone Ultima is the best baler out there. It's a bit heavy, but it still gets more work done for horsepower per time, you know? But, I would recommend this. Uh, this thing, the twin 600 thing, I could recommend this. I'd only give this a what? 4.5 out of 10. Super great texturing and modeling. Absolutely, like everything is just perfect about it. Little locking pin there you put in, possibly. Keep the wheel steady in transport. Bolts, everything in place. But it takes 150 horsepower. I mean, come on. How are you going to, like, also there's no PTO connected, how does, how's it, oh it's actually driven off the ground, isn't it? So I'm wrong there, but it doesn't take, a, it doesn't take any power to use. It's driven off of the ground as far as I know. So, it just shouldn't take any horsepower requirement at all, hardly, you know? It's just ridiculously over power hungry. Let me just head back to the shop. Uh, oops, too many things. Okay, so we'll give a look at them in the shop, and I'm gonna leave a few more further comments, and I'll drop it there. And so it costs three thousand and or six thousand three hundred. It's a bit cheap. It should cost about eight thousand. I honestly believe. That's my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. Six days, six hours a day to maintain. Sounds fine. One hundred and fifty hours per. Moving on. Enough said. Uh, 6 meters working with, it's not 6 meters wide, it is 9 meters wide roughly. Not really worth getting, because if you've got a small farm you need tractors, you need tractors that has too much power, if you have a big farm you have big tractors with enough power, but it's not wide enough or fast enough. So it doesn't really have much place, honestly. If there was V2 that required 10 horsepower, 20 horsepower, 30, 50 horsepower, then I might use it. But until then, no. Um, the Makea Fusion 3. Uh, 70,000 euros, seven, seven, 70,000 euros, slash whatever currency you use, perfectly fine. I believe that's roughly what they would go for new, roughly. Sounds fine to me. Okay, uh, 45 euros a day to maintain. Probably not realistically that much to maintain in reality, if you don't include net and wrap. But that's fine, doesn't matter that much. It's not ridiculous or anything. 107 horsepower to drive, no. You need a very, very baseline minimum of 120 horsepower. Very base, I mean like, you need downhills to pull it with 120. Uh, so no, four thousand unit bales, very good. In-game stuff, standard, so perfect. And someone's trying to check me, chat me, but I'll talk to him in a minute. And it works. Bale straw, hay, silage, grass, works perfectly fine. Recommended. So both of the links will be in the description for these mods, and um, you can find them on FSU Key. Perfectly safe to download. Guaranteed no bugs. Uh, takes about took me ten seconds less. Could take up to a minute depending if you have really bad internet or something. But I would highly recommend them. Perfectly safe and all this. So thanks everybody for watching. If you liked this video, please subscribe to see more of these uh, mod showcases. If you had any mods that you want me to showcase that you believe are worth showcasing because they're of high quality, or just playing funny or something. Uh, drop me, drop a comment below with a link, and I'll give it a look. And if it's worth reviewing, I'll give it a review. So thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.